Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take three different images and combine them into one image. A kind of little fun tutorial using uh, Photoshop's layer masking. So let's hop in here and get to this. Okay, now I'm in Lightroom, but I'm going to pull these into Photoshop. So I'm going to select all three of my photos. Then I'm going to go down to Import or Edit In. Excuse me, not that. Open as layers in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open all three. I'll let Photoshop import those in right quick. Okay, everyone. Well, it looks like all our uh, photos got imported in. So what I want to do is I want to have the first image be the center image. I just want to be on the far bottom. The second image I want to be with me to the left, pointing at the myself and the other camera. As you can see here. And in the third image, I want me to be sitting towards the back, kind of reading like a book. Kind of look like I'm all sitting around trying to figure out how to use a camera. You now, this is a little fun, you know, project anybody can do. All you got to do is just set up your camera. Don't move it. And if you notice, I have a little <laughs> wired remote. Uh, not wired, but a wireless remote in my hand there. That I was using to trigger the camera. I said it's just a fun project anybody can do on a rainy day. Now I know I'm not the next top model here, so but for tutorial purposes, I think everybody get the idea. Okay, let's first start by taking our middle image here, which would be the second one from the bottom, and I'm going to mask this out. Let's go down here to the bottom, and as you can see, you got this little mask tool right here. Let's click it, and you can see it put up a white mask here. Okay. Now I have multiple ways I could do this. I could sit here and actually draw my middle image back in, but that poses a little bit of problem down the road, especially when it comes to the top image. So what I'm gonna do is actually go up here. Let's use my paint bucket tool. Okay, once we've got the paint bucket tool selected, we can go here down at the bottom and let's switch our colors. I wanna to go to black. Now black will mask everything out, whereas the white will uh, bring it back in. Okay, so we've got white right now. It shows everything masked out. Well, not everything masked out. It shows just me. So let's just fill the layer. And as soon as I do that, it fills, uh, mask everything out. And I'm also erased. But I'm going to bring that back by just using a brush here. Now I'm going to have to go up here and get a slightly larger brush tool. And I'm going to increase the size here you know, quite a bit. and put it to the top here. And go to something like, say, around 400 pixels. I think that'll work. Hardness, yeah, it can leave about like 75 or so. That's what I normally like to use. Now let's see if I can't find myself here. Now I gotta go back and switch the color to white again. And you see I'm starting to find myself and brush myself back in. And be careful not to get too close. Okay, for the most part I'm getting pretty close here, but you can just kinda get my hand and my shirt and everything else down the bottom pulled back in now let's just go over here and we're gonna find my entire hand great now that I got that done I want to actually want to zoom in here so I'm actually gonna go down here and since we're at 33% right now zoomed out I'm gonna zoom in about 100% and let's get our little slider here, move it over. That way we can focus more just on the hand here. Now I'm gonna to drop to a smaller brush. Yeah, I'll say something about 40, 50 pixels. Now I'm gonna switch back over to black again. That means I'm basically removing the mask I just done. See here, just draw my shirt from a lower image. And this can be a little time consuming. Now there are many ways to do this. A lot of people like to actually kind of draw around and use the uh, magic wand tool and all that. But I'm just trying to keep the basics on this tutorial right here. And then for what I'm doing here, this will actually work quite well. This isn't actually what you consider paid work. So it'll be close enough, it's just for fun. 
Just a smaller brush get between my fingers a bit more there. Just a little bit, but you know, that's fine. As soon as we zoom out, it's gonna be that noticeable. And I think that'll be it close enough for this right here tutorial. Let me zoom back out to 33%. Yeah, from distance, you can't notice it, it looks pretty close. So now we're gonna take the top image here and we're gonna do the same to it. So let me go over here and my bucket to let me see here, fill it in first. Click my little mask button again. And let's make sure that bucket's on black. Let's choose our paint bucket again. Just click the center. I can see it brought up the two lower images. Now we'll go back over here to our paintbrush again and choose white. Now let's choose us a larger brush again. And go we'll see here as I can't find myself over in the corner and bring myself back. Make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Now let's zoom in again and do the same. And choose slightly bigger brush here. The idea is to make it look like I'm actually behind myself here. So I don't want to mask any of my lower image, center image, out. I want to uh, make it appear as I'm actually standing behind myself, which gives it a nice little look. Working around the shirt here is quite easier because it doesn't show where it fades into one to the other. Like I said, there are many ways to do this. There are probably even more precise, more accurate ways, but for this little tutorial, for a home project that's I'm just gonna stick with using the brush here okay let me zoom out again and that looks pretty much it and as soon as we're done all I get is go here to file and click save and that will save it back in Lightroom and great now we have our image over here <laughs> let's go ahead and open that up in the Lightroom to develop module do a little final touches Let's just kind of pop the contrast up a little bit, pull the highlights down just a little, bring up the shadows just a little, adjust our whites so they're looking really nice, and our blacks as well. Throw in just a touch of clarity, just to make it, me look a little more rough than the REM. <laughs> Maybe just a touch of vibrance, but what I need to do over here to the white balance. Right now it's as shot, but since we reported it back in, it's not going to remember our uh, white balance settings. But I'm going to go over here and bring it up just a little bit. Not much. Just don't want to really make it uh, got too much blue in it. That's looking about right. And uh, that's, I think that's close enough for this tutorial. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, let's go down here. And yeah, let's see a little noise dust, just a touch of that. Don't worry about sharpening for this photo at least. And let's see here, profile corrections. Just remove a little color noise. Don't worry about the profile too much, turn that off. And we'll bring just a little bit down if you want to. And that's it for this tutorial. That's just a little fun thing to post on Facebook if you want to pass the time away or somebody just trying to uh, learn layer masking it's good it's a tutorial is a great way just to learn layer masking if nothing else but anyway that's it for everyone i hope you like this tutorial if you do please give me a thumbs up thumbs up is always highly appreciated if you're not a subscriber to my channel be sure to subscribe subscribing is free it's for you and lets you know when i release more videos until next time everyone thank you for watching